Well, good morning, Magandang Umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. Today, we're gonna swap out a couple of doors. The original French doors that were installed on the house, they just not are working out right, and I'll talk about that in just a moment. Uh, but we're gonna upgrade from the wood, and we're gonna install some UPVC sliding glass with a screen to kind of complement the rest of the doors that are mainly on the house here. Let's go ahead and get today's episode started. So without further delay, let's get today's video underway. Anyway, you can see these are the, what the doors look like from the outside. Doors are very weathered. They didn't do a really good job doing any type of finishing that has to do with outdoors, any type of protecting. The, the contractor that did this job right here, he did the same type of finishing as he would do on the inside. And of course, you need to have more protection when it comes to the outside because it's exposed to the elements. It's exposed to the wind, to the rain, to the UV from the sun. And as you can see, it's pretty obvious, it's pretty much worn off all the finish. Plus, this being a French door, it also being uh, exposed to the elements on the outside. Over time, something that has a lot of windows like this right here, it tends to start going like a Z type of a configuration. The, the frame starts actually warping out. And that's kind of what this has done over time. Now, another problem with these doors is when we have uh, rains, torrential rains that come here that are pretty prominent here inside the Philippines and you have the wind and the rain and when the wind is going against the door a lot of times the, the rain actually kind of seeps up underneath the door from the wind pushing it underneath because a lot of times in the Philippines they don't really do sills, it's the rubberized seals, the weatherproofing sills like they do in North America and other places around the world which is the problem we had here. We've had, actually had some water coming in the side. We always keep a towel and right behind the door just in case the, the rain does try to go through the bottom of the door. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and replace this today. Right now, I'm gonna pull the doors off the hinges and then I have to take out the door jams. Uh, these are the door jams right here to expose the existing concrete and then we're gonna put a UPVC system uh, to take the place of these wooden doors. Okay, the first task is basically taking off the door. And what I'm going to do is on the hinges, you just pop, pop this little bolt out right here, all the bolts, and then we'll slide the door off and that will give us access to the door jam. And then on the door jam itself, you can see where they actually filled in here. There's all these spots where they filled. And these are the concrete nails that went through that hold the door jam. We're gonna have to remove the door jam around because the new UPVC door that's gonna go in here needs to go up against the concrete inside. And what they'll do, they'll set the new UPVC frame jam, the jam itself basically, that will replace the wooden one right here, just similar to they did here. Okay, I have both of the doors removed. That was, that was the easy part. That was the easiest part of this whole task. And I want to just share something with you. If you're building inside the Philippines, you have to be very careful to make sure that your contract doesn't do what my contractor did on the build. And I knew better and I said something to him, but he insisted that this was okay. And what I'm going to show you that's not okay is what he did here. You see, this is the door jam. The door jam is what your door connects to. The door jam connects to your wall. Your door connects to the door jam. Now, you're supposed to set the door jam on top of whatever your finished, your finished floor is. So if you have tile or if you have marble or if you have granite, you want to make sure it sits on the top of it. But what this contractor did throughout the house, and it's not so bad inside, but if you have anything exposed to the elements on the outside, he put the door jam in way before he did the finished tile. 
So this door jam here goes down inside. They had to cut out around the door jam. And what happens is when you get any type of rain or water or moisture, it goes down and it seeps. And you can see what happened here. And then what you have is you're gonna have this. You're gonna have rot, you see? And this is where the bugs and the termites and all will come from, is from this right here. Uh, so lucky for us, the UPVC door that's going in here and the new frame is gonna cover over the top of this area right here. And this is going to be sealed. And, uh, but it should have never been done like that. This wouldn't have lasted, you can see, not even five years old and it's already you see what's happening here. Don't let your contractor do that. Uh, my dad's been inside the contracting business for 30 years, building houses, and I've never seen him or anyone else uh, in North American construction ever do anything like this. Uh, again, don't let your contractor do this. All right, now it's time to gain access to all the, the concrete nails, all the concrete nails that are attaching the door jam to the existing uh, uh, concrete frame. So I'm just gonna try to break this up and try to get something to actually pull out all of these concrete nails. All right, well you can see the door jam is out. It's out, I had some help from our neighbors across the street from uh, Caribbean Construction. They came out and did some assistance. They're doing some patching of where they, the wood was actually sitting underneath the, the door sill inside here. And this is the team right here from, from View True. And the door frame is there on top of the truck and they'll be bringing that in. They'll do it, install that momentarily. So when the door frame arrived, it uh, was just a little wide. It's better to be a little wide than too short. You don't want the gap. So what they're doing is trimming. They're gonna have to trim a little bit off so it fits perfectly inside the frame. Now, almost done with the door installation. Uh, it just has some finishing stuff that has to be done. Uh, when, when the door jam was removed, we had a little bit of damage down here. So this is going to have to be fixed. And it's also gonna have to be uh, a little bit of finish and sanding on here. And we'll match up the, the paint because we still have some of the leftover paint from the job. But it's looking really good. And there's one thing I want, I want to make a comment about the screen. This is, I don't know if you, this is actually metal screen. <laughs> and it, uh, up, upstairs it's not quite so important because the dogs aren't upstairs. But we're going to replace the fiberglass screen that we have in the sunroom with this screen right here. All right, well, that's about it for today's episode. I gotta tell you, I am really happy with the install of that UPVC sliding glass door up on our lanai that goes from our lanai to our master bedroom. And I know there's gonna be people that are gonna be asking, oh, James, you didn't really talk about pricing. Well, I will talk about pricing. Uh, and it's gonna be pricing that has to do with if you wanna do a project just like this, or if you wanna choose different types of options with this type of a package that we have right here. I'll just give you an example. Uh, you could probably do this type of package anywhere between 
costing probably around 70,000 pesos up to about maybe 110,000 pesos. Uh, that is the average and it depends on the materials that you use. So, and that's the difference between going with regular standard glass, going with tempered glass, going with maybe uh, six or nine millimeter glass or 10 millimeter glass, or uh, again, again, whichever option you choose, that will be between that. Uh, that will be between that seventy thousand peso and that about one hundred and ten thousand peso. Now, what we chose for this one right here, we chose ten millimeter, which is very thick glass, tempered glass, glazed, and we have the uh, the screening. We have the upgrade screening. The upgrade screening is the metal screening that we have inside. So that should answer all your questions about cost. Uh, okay. Uh, also, the the marketing manager, marketing manager um, Russell Relover. Russell Relover was the, a champ. He was the one who sent us our proposal, did all the measurements before his great team came out here and did that from the View True UPVC Windows and Doors company. Uh, so I want to thank Russell very much for all his assistance. I'm very happy uh, again <laughs> with the with the install of this project. Anyway, we're going to close from here right now and we're going to move on to our next project, whatever that might be. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did, please give me a thumbs up, please share and if you have not subscribed, just click on that little My PI Dream heart in the bottom right hand side of your screen. You'll be subscribed and notified the next time I upload a new video. So until such time from right here in the beautiful Philippines, you have a wonderful and blessed day. today's episode and you would like to see more just like these just click on one of the helpful links over to your right and you might be able to pick up on some good information on DIY projects how to or if you are interested in moving to the Philippines and building you'll find answers there as well